Hey everybody, Taria here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with a book that we've seen before once, and I thought it's high time I show you what's going on in it. This is my spiritual bullet journal. So, I walked you through it once before, and there's not too much in it, so I figured I'd just walk you through it again and show you what I'm doing. So I use this for all things path related. Side note, please excuse the mess you see around my desk. I have to do some cleaning. Um, all things path related and I do it bullet journal style. It's like a bullet journal meets a book of shadows because I had a book of shadows and give me one sec, I will show you. Here's what was my book of shadows. Huge. So you can get the full picture. But what was happening was, ah, uh, here it is. Here's an example. I thought it'd be really cool to put in color candles and what they mean. And I put in the color, I put in the basic meaning, and here's mine. And I never filled it out. And the whole thing is filled with that. It's filled with stuff I didn't actually use. So when I wanted to start again, I wanted to just build it as I went. There's no set rules of what you have to put in in it, and I wanted to apply that. So I figured, book of shadows, bullet journal, come together, happy time. And so that's what you've got here. So I fill it in when something pops up that I found interesting, that I want to record, that I want to remember, that I think I might want to reference later. So we've got... go. So I fill it out very simply. I put what I want to put and then I put like a colored line and put the next thing and that's how it goes. So I've got quotes, element breaths, more quotes and stuff, a call to the four that I wrote, which I have to edit, some challenges from my first Deeper Thinking, Deeper Lives. And the reason I like this so much is because it ends up being more meaningful to me. Um, this is the spread I made after reading the White Spirit Animals book. And uh, this I got from that. It's it's more meaningful. So many so many of us get caught up in this wave of we have to put this in our book of shadows. We have to put that, and then. I wonder, how often are they actually using it? Does it actually ring true for them? How much of it that they're putting in is actually something they care about? Or are they just putting things in because they think they have to? So that's why I'm doing it this way. Here's my challenge. The symbols of the planets, the element symbols, which I've started using. I used in some paintings, some journaling. I started doing some journaling about my path in here. Now here we are in the goods of which I wanted to show you. So I was finding a lot of lack in this area of my life. I've tried many times to have a witchy spiritual bullet journal and I've loved it and then I've kind of stopped using it. So I wanted to try again. So I made a title page, the month of April, and I put self-exploration. That's the theme for my Deeper Thinking, Deeper Lives challenge. And it's through writing. And then I just put a couple of things, learn thyself, journeying through words, just to keep the theme of my Deeper Thinking, Deeper Lives, which to me is a very spiritual thing. Now I only have one more spread to show you at least this month. So this is a short video. And then I came up with this, and this I call my mundane to magic. So I have no idea if anyone is doing this concept. I did not get this concept from every, from anyone. I took the basic concept of a calendar layout that people have used from doodles, like I saw it in the Eclectic Scribbles videos, who I will link down below if you're interested. And she just used it for doodle challenges. 
and I made it my own. So I have a problem with remembering that there is beauty and magic in this world I am in right now. I have a lot of a disconnect because of all the technology and all these things that just to me feel unnatural. And I don't want to keep feeling this way because it sucks. So I came up with this, Mundane to Magic. And the idea is every day I am going to pick something that is seen as mundane, that can be seen as being something that it's just a part of life, it's kind of blah, and I'm going to reframe it in my mind. I'm going to choose to continue to look at it from then on with a magical perspective to see the magic in this world that we live. So, and I'm going to share them on Instagram. So, by the time you see this, I'll have already shared the second one on Instagram. The first one I shared, I picked the bus. I know it looks like a school bus, but I just picked, I just drew it that way so it was an easy visual of what it was. And the bus, I take it most every day, and it's seen as just this thing. But by, by looking at it differently, the bus gives me the gift of time. I'm able to sit back and enjoy my commute to and from wherever I'm going. I can take in the scenery. I can do all of these things. I can read a book. I have to get places. And when I take the bus to get there, I'm given the gift of time to sit and enjoy as the sun blares through the window or to read or to just just sit and be. So that's why I picked buses. And then the next one I picked, you'll recognize, is YouTube. And by the time I post this, I will have posted this one to Instagram. And YouTube is a huge time suck, and I'm saying that filming a video for YouTube, and it absolutely is. I very easily get lost in YouTube. But YouTube is also a place where people like us have trouble finding our own people, our own community in person, can reach out, can learn things through channels like The Pagan Perspective, through channels like Cute Witch 772 any of these channels, they're a way to learn and grow and think about your life and change your life if you want to. And that's a pretty magical thing. So that's how I picked YouTube. And then the only other thing I have in here, the only other thing I have is um, my prompt my Deeper Thinking, Deeper Lives question I asked for day one. This month for Deeper Thinking, Deeper Lives, we are doing writing, and more specifically, writing as the tool and self-exploration is what we are looking into. And I'm taking my love of questions, and I'm actually using it. So I love asking questions. So the first day I asked to describe your ideal day in as much detail as possible, and what can that teach you about yourself? How can that visualization of your ideal day be applied to your life to shift your life in the direction that you want to go? So that's that. That's what's going on my spiritual bullet journal. And that's really all I've got for you today. Like I said, I this is pretty short. I just really wanted to come and show you how it's going. And I will be back with this book specifically more often because that's what I want to do. So there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me. Please check out some of my links in the description box. I've linked everyone I've mentioned and I have my social media. I've got my Instagram where I will be posting my mundane thing that I'm making magical every single day, roughly. I've got my Facebook page. I've got my Facebook group. Please feel free to check any of those out. I'd love it. And thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.